everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm doing my Manny for the weekly Saturday stamping collab and the theme this week is woodland animals so I will be stamping with my lantern and wren kawaii life plate and I'm going to be using these two cute little foxes so, on my nails, I have one coat of Bases Loaded Lacquer, Take Your Base, Protective Base Coat. And then I have one coat, Bases Loaded Lacquer, Low and Away, Foundational Base Color. And this beautiful rust color, this perfect color for fall, is called fall flames from bases loaded lacquer and then on my ring finger and my middle finger i have bases loaded lacquer the hunt for october all right so let's get my plate here i'm gonna actually do these upside down since they are at the top a little bit okay now I need a couple of stampers because I will be reverse stamping these images Stamping with my Maniology Straight Up Black for the outline. And I was debating about which animal I wanted to do. Um, the last fallish Manny I did with animals, I did owls. Um, so I didn't want to do that this time. I wanted to do something different. So, uh, when I was looking through my plates to see what I had, I saw these two cute little foxes and decided I had to do those. So, scrape once, roll the opposite direction that you scraped, and there you go. I'm removing the excess with the card. Mm. And there's so much, I'm actually going to have to get a piece of tape. Um, some people use a lint roller to get rid of the excess. Um, I always get too close and actually end up picking up my image as well. So I use a piece of tape. Okay, look how cute. All right. So now we're going to do the other little fox image. Scrape once, roll the opposite direction which we scraped and there we go and this one came out much better than she did so I'm gonna have to redo her because like her tail is a little lighter I think the bottom of her foot so I'm gonna redo her So you get my cotton swab, get my 100% acetone. And now let's redo her. Oh, 
Ooh, that's way too much polish. Oh, that's better. All right, let's get my piece of tape and clean that up again. All right, look how cute. So, this gives me the perfect opportunity to try to use my new um, light pad that I purchased to do the reverse stamping. So, mm, I wonder if my cord's long enough. Hang on, let me grab it and I'll be back. And my new light pad. Alright, that's going to drive me crazy, so let me get a piece of paper. Alright, piece of paper. That's better. So now, you think that's going to make it easier for me to reverse stamp? Rose quartz. Let's do Miss Ma'am first. Do we want to get closer? Get a little closer. Alright, I'm going to do. Let's do Hello Flower first. That one I'm going to fill in using Kiss Gel. Marvelous. And where'd I put my brush? I'm going to use my mm, mini allergy brush. Focus, please. All right, I'm gonna assume that's fine. Oops, sorry. Is a little low, so I've got my phone plugged in and I keep pulling it and hitting it, and it's just not my day, peeps. Just not my day. All right, let's see how this is gonna work. <clears throat> Side of that big ear because I don't know if you could tell or not. Let me see. Let's see if we can tell on him too. Yeah, see, that's the inside of the ear that's showing. 
So for the inside of the ear, we're going to do Zoya Jordan. All right, so. I think I need to pick it up. I think I'll do it better when I pick it up. I'm sorry, I was off camera the whole time. I'd say the issue with me picking it up like this is that the brush gets very close to the camera. All right. See if I can dot this tiny little nose. Sorry, I gotta get it further away from the camera. Uh, this white is faces that is black or shut out. This has Brave Steve polish because that used to be the name of her brand. Alright. So we're going to do white for the eye. I'm going to do white right here, this little tuft of fur, and then white for the tip of the tail. Now my little foxy waxy is going to be the same color as uh, my nails, which is the basis of the lacquer fall flames. Let me get this polish off my stone.
It's such a pretty color, but the issue with using a regular polish instead of the stamping polish, sometimes you gotta do two coats of color. Sometimes you gotta cover it with white so that it'll pop against your base color. And that stuff is already starting to dry because I've got my fan on get it because even though it's fall, y'all, it's still hot in the south. <clears throat> All right, let's try some more. stay wet longer for me. Oh, look at that, drying already.
think I have my fan on too high. Please focus. All right, I'm back. I'm now going to use my Manny Allergy sticky base coat to put on these two so that I could put my reverse damp images on. Look at me acting like I don't know how to paint my nails. It's because I'm not used to doing it facing this way. Alright, we're going to let that get tacky. I'm gonna show you my images, which one's which. Okay. So after I finished um, color and everything in, I just went over it with a white so that that way the colors will definitely show. Oh, cute. Um, the flower can't really see so I chose a bad color <laughs> to do the flower but it is what it is I'm not redoing it all right so this one is gonna go on a middle finger the one with the flower and then the one without the flower I did this one off camera so y'all wouldn't have to sit there and watch me do both but I did one so that she you could see the process so there's that one come on camera and then that one's gonna go this way so that way they'll be facing each other so all right that one's tacky so we're gonna go I'm hoping when I do my top coat it'll make it pop more so where where's my here we go there's my smudge free top coat And still, you want to try it and float it, especially with your reversed stamping images so that it doesn't smear, even though it is a smudge free. Maybe it's the light that's not too good. Maybe it's the fact that I chose to do a hollow over a hollow. Hmm. Yeah. 
All right, this is when this dries, I'm gonna put my uh, gel effect top coat on and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. I've top coated with my Salon Perfect Plumping Gel Effect Top Coat. So here is my finished mani. Um, you could probably see it better if my C-curve wasn't so strong, but hopefully, um, I'm not sure how my pictures are gonna turn out, but we'll try it and see anyway. All right, so um, I'll have the other's pictures um, after mine. Um, and I think that's everything. Oh, I'll also have the links below in the comment box to their videos. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and comment. And I will see you next time. Bye.